You know, the book was really more of a roadmap than a blueprint. Um, it was incredibly informational in the journalism world. We call it TikTok, meaning this happened, then this happened, then this happened. Um, but it wasn't about emotion or character. Um, so once I had the book, which is brilliant, by the way, it's a masterpiece, um, I went on a journey of about three years of research of primary source, you know, people who were there or people who were very closely connected to the event, um, the things they left behind, the artifacts, the information, the interviews, um, you know, things that we didn't know really existed. The president's got to be two. He's going to be okay here? Oh, yeah. It's a good program. It will now only be a matter of minutes until the arrival. Early lunch today. I want everybody downstairs to see the press. Those skills when it came to writing the screenplay were really important. You know, a movie's a building. You have to build a building that has found the foundational element is something that I can point to and say, you know, you don't have to negotiate with yourself. This happened. So just allow the movie to wash over you and have that experience. Have any idea what you've done? Well, your son apparently killed the most important person in the world. It's my story, too. You know, I have to say, they were relieved to tell their story because no one had bothered to ask them. People had been obsessed for so long by what I think and what they thought was a distraction, which was sort of the fictional nonsense, that I think they were finally relieved that someone came to ask them their story. It's been a long time, and I thought that someone would have come along with this approach, but they haven't. And I think that speaks to the power of conspiracy theory, which is like a drug. You know, it's like an obsession. And, you know, once you get hooked, you don't think about anything outside that bubble.